All right, hi team, welcome to your Hot Pilates Strength Edition. For class today, you're gonna bring in a few different sets of weights if you have them. So I've got my very light set splitting the middle of the mat. I have my medium set off to the top, and then I have one super, super heavy set just placed over to the side. We're only gonna use that for a few drills later on. If you also happen to have a balance pad, you're gonna bring that in, and we're gonna place that to the middle of the mat. I'm gonna turn up these beats, and we're gonna get started. I hope you guys are ready to rock. You're gonna start seated with your ankles crossed, your hips are on your balance pad. Dumbbells are just off to the side. Hands come onto the knees, sitting up nice and tall through the spine, anchoring the hips. And start to inhale as the chest comes forward. Exhale as the chest rounds back. So we're just making nice thoracic circles, keeping the hips pressing down, growing tall through the spine, but sending the chest forward. Round, send the chest back, and then reversal. Reverse, swing the torso the other way. Just here for three, get some movement through the spine. Two, last one, sitting up nice and tall on the inhale. Pull the shoulders down, start to open up the chest. Maybe the eyes go up to the ceiling. Exhale as you round through the spine and curl. Three more, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round, and maybe you start to pull the chest forward and back. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Sitting back tall, you're gonna bring both feet flat on the floor. Option to grab your dumbbells, reach both arms forward, palms up, inhale. Exhale, tilt the pelvis round and roll halfway back. So you're finding your seated C curve, inhale. Exhale, round. We're just prepping the abdominals, the core, the spine, shoulders back and down, palms are up. Tiny bend through the elbows. We're here for 20 seconds, not reps. Rolling back, rounding the spine. So this starts by tilting the pelvis and then going. So we're not leaning back with a flat back position. Scoop and hollow, hip to rib connection. Chin away from the chest, but gazes forward. Last five, four, three, two. Last one, release the dumbbells back to the side. Hands come back behind you, fingertips face forward or fingertips out to the side. Proud through the chest, hips down and up. You're gonna drive through the feet, stay open through the chest, you hinge the hips, they can tap the floor or tap the ab, the balance pad if you have it. Drive through the feet, squeeze hamstrings, glutes, lift. Tabletop, reverse tabletop position for five, four, three, two. Stay open through the collarbones, through the chest. Drop the hips. You're gonna come to balance on your tailbone. Option to cross, right ankle over left or you can have both legs parallel, feet together or legs separated. Hands can stay on the floor or you can reach and hover. In and out with the legs. Modification, if that's ever too much, even with the hands, you can have your back on the floor, maybe even the hands underneath the sacrum and still pressing the legs in and out. Almost like a double leg stretch. Final 15 seconds. We're gonna hold and balance at the top. So start to engage through the lower abdominals, proud through the chest, shoulders back and down. Five, four, core is tight, so it holds the balance. Three, two, last one, hold at the top. Legs hover, grab your dumbbells, roll the shoulders back and down, you've got bicep curls. If you have a heavier weight, you can alternate one at a time, but we're not bringing the elbows up. Lock in the upper part of the arm, and then squeeze the bicep to draw the dumbbell up toward the front of the shoulder. Modification, feet flat on the floor. So if it's too much for the hip flexors or for the core, you release the feet, just work the biceps. For five, four, three, two, last one. Release the weights back down. Feet come back to the floor. Palms down, this time as you lift the hips, you're gonna extend right leg, lower, left leg. So we're gonna add the march. So it might be a little bit slower. And then I'll give you an option to pick up the pace. And maybe we'll add some triceps. Fingertips are facing forward, palms flat on the floor. Drive through the feet, squeeze. Option to stay here. Or we go a little bit quicker and we add the tricep dip. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, feet flat. Second set, left over right, in and out. Knees can go wide towards the shoulders, or if you have the legs together, they come in and out towards the center, the midline, towards the chest. Almost there. You know we're gonna hold at the top. Option to add the arm reach to balance. You're not letting the back press onto the floor. Almost like that half roll back position. You're still bouncing on the hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, hold at the top, grab your dumbbells, bend the arms, you're going to take a circle press. Modification, I'm going to set you up, you're sitting up tall, maybe even the legs are extended. Spine doesn't change, the arms are bent about 90 degrees, palms up, and then you keep that shape as you draw a little circle up and overhead. Keep going, I'm gonna turn to face you just so you can get different angles. You can see where we're working. And these are your light dumbbells. They could be medium, but I like to go light because we just started, we're still warming up. Last 10, nine, eight, seven. You can always come back to the balance. Hover the toes, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Release your dumbbells, cross at the ankles, plant your palms, Step back, downward facing dog. Just quick, pedal the knees. Feet hip width, hands shoulder distance. Hips up and back for three, two, one. Drop both knees to the floor or onto your balance pad. If you're on the floor, you're gonna have the tops of the feet down. If you're on the balance pad, you're gonna tuck your toes and press the balls of the feet into the floor. You're lifting the hips and you add alternating little punch like a jab and a cross. Hands are up by the face. Hover the hips to the heels, down and up, squeeze. Hips forward, but tight at the top. Add both arms, same time, lift. Pace up to you. If you have a heavier weight, you're gonna slow this down. But full extension of the arms, shoulder height. So there's a rotation happening. Palms face each other, and then as you come up, rotate palms down. For 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, last one, pull the arms in and just pulse. Hips go back towards the heels. You can hold almost in a row shape or maybe take the dumbbells behind the lower back. You're in a bent over flat back position. Squeeze, hamstrings and glutes. We're loading it up. Press through the shins, press through the feet for 10. Nine, you're gonna hold this position in eight. We work the arms in five, four, three, two, one. Stay bent over, hovering hips over heels. Bring the arms underneath the chest and open up into your fly. Working the rear delt, the back, slight bend through the elbow, and you press the arms open and control on the way back in. Keep the dumbbell separated at the bottom, just underneath the shoulders. Palms face the floor the whole time. Think about the elbows lifting, shoulder blades squeezing together. You have 10 seconds left to go. Big squeeze, slow down. We change the tempo. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job, you guys. Release the dumbbells and just take them out of the way. Palms go down, step back into the downward facing dog again. This time, right leg lift, hip square. Little pulse, little lift. Toes point down towards the floor. Biceps next to ears. Slight bend through the elbows. Let the left heel be heavy. You got five, four, three, two. Last one, right foot's gonna step all the way outside right hand, big step. And just start pulsing the hips. Now, if you have the ab pad, you're gonna pull it forward so it's underneath the hands at the top of the mat. You're still pulsing and opening up the hips for five, four, three, two. Stay low in your dragon. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, push through the right heel, straighten your legs, pyramid pose. Inhale, bend through the right knee. Exhale, straight. Now we're working the hamstrings 
on the right side. You're gonna square the hips, pull the right hip back, left hip forward, push down through your right heel and your right big toe. Last one. From here, firm, hands underneath the shoulders. You have two hops to switch. Left, right, hold, right arm reach up, right palm down. We go again. One, two, reach, reset, change, change. One reach, reset, here we go. If you need to, you can allow the hips to do this little bit of a lift, only because we're still warming up, and it puts more pressure on the shoulders and the hands. If you want to make it more challenging for your core, you're going to shoot the legs back with as little lift of the hips as you can find. For five, four, three, two, last one. Left foot steps outside the balance pad. Find your squat. Hands up, hands down, right leg back. We switch. Nice and slow. This is you finding your squat position for the first time. From your lunge, step forward. The legs are already burning. My quads are on fire. Engage through the core, navel in towards the spine. Pull the shoulders back and down. Squeeze the glutes to lift. For five, four, three, two. Last one, both feet step back. High plank, inhale. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're coming back into your high plank. We're gonna go shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Modification, hold your plank or shoulder taps only. Walk the feet back, shoulders right on top of wrists. Here we go, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Modification, just shoulder taps or just pick up the right hand, put it on the left, and switch. So this is a good way to enter into the shoulder tap kind of arena by just going for the hand or the wrist. Once you have it, shoulders, hand opposite hip, and then the knee, you gotta draw everything into the midline. 20 seconds, long spine, legs tight, glutes tight, core tight. No sway, no rock, for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, sit it back. So go thumb and pinky out. Just shake forward and back. And then turn, wrist down, knuckles down, and shake. Three, two, woo, we got the other side. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts this time. Little lift, little pulse. Hands can be on the floor or on the balance pad, up to you. Rotate the left hip to point to the floor, toes down, heel up, push back for five, four, three, two. Use your core, step the left foot all the way outside the left hand. Start to pulse the hips. You're trying to open it up. So this is really open movement. Just feeling the body, feeling the hips for five, four, Three, two, stay low in the dragon lunge. Open up the chest a little bit more and then exhale, push through the left heel, straighten the left leg. If the left leg doesn't go fully straight, that's fine. You're just working to get it there, but you're gonna feel the stretch through the hamstrings all the way, maybe into the calves and then up into the hips, maybe even into the lower back. You got one more. Come back to your dragon lunge. We've got that two hop change. Right to left, one, two, and then reach the left arm up. Stack the shoulders, eyes up, follow the thumb. Change, change. You can start it slow with that little hip lift to engage the core, right? And we're more work through the shoulders. Once you have the movement, you hop change, shoot it back. Reach, reset. Right, left, it's a little bit quicker. Change, change, one, two, Reach, reset, change, change. For five, four, three, two, last one. Reach up, reach down, step back, drop the knees. We're going on to forearms. 